did you see? I saw my father. Your father? Yes, Lancelot. I saw him with the queen, with, with the grandfather. And Arthur? Arthur. Yes, Arthur. Did you see him? I saw him. And? I saw him dead. Arthur. The Last Battle by Steve May. With Philip Glenister as Arthur, Ian McDermott as Merlin, and Jane Lapater as the narrator. Disorder and confusion in Camelot. The war party ready to depart? The Queen discovered fornicating with the King's best friend, and Mordred in the thick of it. Mordred, where's Lancelot? Locked up. Not dead, then. Unfortunately not. And his supporters? Fled from Camelot with all their men. Good. We're vulnerable without them here. We're stronger without them. Behold the wizard Merlin, so brisk and certain, so confident he has the situation under control. And the Queen, where's Gwenba? Locked up too. Only the Christian Lancelot must die. I know your instructions. As long as you do... You can trust me, Merlin. Now, my sisters and brothers, I, Morgan, must guide you to the last days of the king. Arthur, you must eat. I hear them talking. Who? All my warrior lords whispering. I don't think so. They are. I can feel them like maggots in a dead dog, itching. The war party's prepared. The men are waiting for your orders. You know, the truth's a strange thing. You live. You do. You think you've acted well and honest. You have. No. No, now the truth's out and all I can do is scratch with my nail at this tabletop. It pains me to see my brother like an old child man. Uncertain. Unsteady. Unsure. I've been having dreams. Nightmares. As if I was a child again. Half naked, hiding in a barn, and the soldiers poke the hay with spears. Bedvere, leave us. Is there anything else, my lord? No, but thank you, Bedvere. I'll be with the horses. He's a good man, man. Uh, yes, there are things we must discuss. If I was as good as Bedvere. You'd never have been king. I should never have married Gwenba. I should have followed Rhiannon to Orkney. Old King Lot, he'd have given me work in the stables. Arthur, look into my eyes. I have straightforward advice for you now. Say it. Execute the traitor and then march on Ossa and let him taste your rage. I feel no rage. You must do as I say or your kingdom's finished. Kingdom? There's nothing left. Yes, there is. What? You are the gods elect. Upon you they built their kingdom. A kingdom in pieces. Because you chose to betray the gods and welcome the cross bearers and snake haters to feast at your table. You leave me to my shame. Your purpose now is to hold Camelot together. You must stand firm with Gwenver at your side. I saw them together. And Lancelot will die for it, and there will be an end of the matter. Gwenver will take her place at your side, and we shall be reconciled to the gods. Leave me, wizard. I will not stand by and watch you destroy yourself. He said, leave me! Majesty. Please ask the wizard to leave me be, Mordred. Perhaps you should leave the king, Lord Wizard. Oh. You're very quick to give orders, young man. But you seem slow to take them. You forget yourself. Please, Merlin, just let me be. Very well. Has he gone? Yes. Good. Will you sit? Thank you, Majesty. Now, what do you want? I thought you should know I've made the necessary arrangements. Have you noticed how crude the carpentry is in this table. In its day, it was fine enough. What arrangements? For the punishment. And is it done? All according to the law and custom. Lancelot's to be hanged. I don't want to think about it. You don't have to. I'll take care of it. That I could clear my head of thoughts. Just for a moment. That I could be clear again. I say we ride, Vesper. Without the king, here. What kind of king is he now? Betrayed. He's a fool. 
makes us look foolish. He's done nothing. Too right. A cuckold king. No wonder he never had an heir. It sits ill with me, like pain in the gut. We lose all respect. Our enemies, they're singing insults. Lancelot's to blame. Things will be all right when Lancelot's executed. Execute our strongest warrior. I say. Burn the whore, hang Lancelot, and march on Ossa. Now! I say wait! And tear ourselves apart! The Saxons are strong! If we provoke them, they'll destroy us! I don't think so. It looks like we'll find out who's strongest, whether we like it or not. What's that, Bedver? Ossa and his war party have crossed into Mercia. They're heading this way. Gwenver, wake up. I'm not asleep. I've come to talk with you. Then talk. You are to be burnt. Merlin told me different. Merlin has no power in this matter. Who has? As you see. You are to be my executioner. Unfortunately, yes. Is it now? At dawn. So what do you want now, Mordred? There are arrangements I have to make. How much wood do you need to burn one woman? This gives me no pleasure. <laughs> I think it does. It's in my power to make things easy for you, or harder. Why do you stare at the floor? You're still a handsome woman. And I intend to look my best for the occasion. Go quietly, with a hung head. Remorseful, with your hair loose, and I promise it'll be swift. Then look forward to a long morning. You're brave now. I want the people to see an ugly, whimpering, beaten, craven thing. Then you'll have to break me. Gwenver. You will be broken. Arthur, please listen to me. I can't. I can't hear anything. Only the water rushing in my head. Ossa. What? Ossa the Saxon. I killed him. That was the father. The sons crossed the ooze. Then he'll be here soon. We must send out a war party to meet him. You go if you want. Is that the king speaking? The king's dead. He's got no fight left. <laughs> Arthur. Coward. I never thought I'd see the day. You see, it's over. No. You insult me and I feel nothing. Oh, then why not fight? Why? Oh, what else is there to do? Sit here while fools laugh at you and sing songs about your wife. That's my punishment. Oh, punishment for what? For being a trusted friend and faithful husband. I've seen you sick. I've seen you wounded. But I never thought I'd see you soak yourself in self-pity and it sticks in my throat. Leave me then. Oh, well! I tell you this, my lord. You do what you like. I'm going after Ossa for one last battle, even if I go on my own with nothing but a pig's bladder to fight with, because I can't stand it here another day, another hour, another minute! Bedvere. Wait. Don't disappoint me. One last battle. Yes! One last battle. Like the old days, live or die. To hell with queens and guilt and wizards, win or lose, with you at our head. But how can I lead men when I can't look them in the eye? Can you look me in the eye? Yes. Canard, Pierce and Tyne? Yes. So take only your oldest comrades. And Bors. Bors. has gone. I thought he'd stay. I say the less of us the better, the greater the glory. But before he rides, the king performs one last and secret duty. Gwenda. Arthur. Have you come to torture me before I burn? 
I've come to try and settle things between us. A little late for that, wouldn't you say? All my life, I've had contempt for men who lie to others and themselves. I thought I knew myself. And I take it you blame me for everything? I blame you for nothing. Then what are you doing here? Oh, forgive me, my sweet flower of Kielion. All those years I wanted you. I wanted you and you held yourself back. At least I was true. If sharing you constantly with a ghost can be described as true. Her name was Rhiannon. Rhiannon. Wife to Lord of Orkney. His wife. His wife. And you loved her. With all my heart. Then we have both sinned. Lancelot said she died. He told you? I made him tell. Look at me, Arthur. I can't. Look into my eyes and read them. It hurts too much. Look at me once before I burn. Fire's ready, Kier. Yes, Mordred. Prepare the tools. The irons glow in the fire. Good. Where's the king? <laughs> I doubt he'll have the stomach for this. Fetch out the Hoor Queen. Gladly! She's gone! What? The Queen! Where's Lancelot? Her saddle is empty. I swear she was secure. She got round you like she does all men. I should have put a whore to guard her. Send men out now. Find them. One woman riding alone. We'll soon find out. I doubt she's alone. Where are we going? Now that's my brother for you. It makes me purr with pride that in the agony of his humiliation, he can commit an act of such generosity, such magnificence of spirit beyond anyone, anyone, even noble Lancelot. Please, let's ride in silence. I want to know where you're taking me. Your husband came to me last night. And me. I knelt. He knelt beside me. Couldn't look him in the face. He said only three words. Keep her safe. Where's safe for me? Northumbria, the house of the Holy Sisters. A convent? They'll look after you. Did Arthur tell you to take me there? No. So it's your idea? Yes. You could be safe there. There's only one way to keep me safe. How? Stay with me. No. Stay with me and we can live in the forest. No. Keep her safe. That's what he said. We can catch animals and eat them raw. No one will dare come near us. They'll think we're demons. They won't know who we are. News of what we have done has spread far. I'm not going to a convent. Then I might as well leave you here. Do that. I'll find protectors. Who? Arthur has gone to fight Arthur with 15 warriors. It's madness. Let's get our horses and follow the king. Wait, Keir, we must handle this carefully. We must help Arthur. How can we? If we follow him, we'll never catch him up in time. And if we split our forces, we leave Camelot defenseless. Who are you to give orders, Mordred? Arthur left me in charge of the defence of Camelot. What's left to defend? A new beginning. I say right. If Arthur wanted you with him, Keir, why didn't he invite you? I'll ask him when I find him. Gwenvoir, we must ride faster. The slower we go, the longer you'll be with me. The bow to follow us. 
Then you'll keep me safe and kill them. I've got no stomach for killing anymore. I think you're softening. Hold still. What's that ahead? What is it? Looks like someone lying on the road. Be ready to ride on. Be careful, Lancelot. And as Lancelot draws closer, he sees a boy, exhausted, clothed in rags, who lifts his head and sees his father. God? Is that you? My father? Stay still, don't try to move. I saw you. I saw you in a vision. My father. You must believe me on my Christian honor when I say I never knew. I believe you. I've seen the Grail, Father. I touched it. And it did this to you? I have to get back to Camelot. Arthur's in danger. Will you help me? I can never return to Camelot. I swore to see the Queen to safety. In my vision, I saw you and the Queen together. Your vision showed you true. Come on, can you walk? I think so. Lean on me. Who is it, Lancelot? My son. Gallant. All honor to you, Majesty. He's very weak. I must return to Camelot. You could travel with us. No, Father. I know the truth. It was Mordred and the wizard who plotted your fall. I must get to Camelot. At least share some food with us. Give me water and, and I'll carry on. Travel out with us, Scarlet. Forget Camelot. You know I can never do that. And neither can you. It will always tug you back. I tell you, there's nothing there for me now. The king is in danger and needs our help. Go with him, Lancelot. I can't leave you. Go with him. I swore to Arthur that I'd keep you safe. And you have kept your word, sweet Lancelot. But now it is time for us to part. Don't say it. Farewell, my love. Farewell. Kira. There's a war party on the road. How many, Vespan? Ten or twelve old men. Must be off. Yes. See him riding at the front? Uh, uh, how old he looks. And look to the east. Saxons. Two hundred. More. Wait. What are you doing? We must ride down and warn Arthur. No. We must stay here. Arthur, our scouts have sighted us, sir. Where are they now, Bedvere? A mile, moving this way fast. They have horses. No. That's something. Listen. They're in good spirits. Drunk and singing. And why shouldn't they? It's only a cuckold king to deal with. Line up across the road. A dozen warriors, sword and shield on horseback, face the Saxon horde. Between the armies, flaps a Heavy, dark shape. Look. The raven. Bad news. For someone. Yes. I am that bird. Come to visit death on one side. Or the other. Ossa! Halt and turn back! I killed your brother! I killed your father! Don't make me kill you! Old man, lay down that sword! It's too big for your arm now! Look at you! Hunched and broken! Come and try my arm! And with a slow swelling roar, the Saxons charge like the incoming tide round rocks and soon surround each horse. My brother leans and swings Excalibur as though he reaches down to shake their hands. 
Crispin. We can't just watch. The only chance we've got is surprise. Let's ride. Wait. 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 Until the last reserves are in. Wait. Wait. Now! For Arthur! Camelot, this is a difficult day for me. It's now four days since our king left us. We must face facts. We must presume that Arthur has perished at the hands of Ossa. His disgraced queen has fled. Lancelot and Boers are in hiding. Keir and Vespin disappeared. Our wizard, Merlin, locks himself away in prayer with the lake. Therefore, much as it pains me, much as I wish the cup would pass me by, I claim the right to be king. Surprised from the rear, the Saxons waver, then break, and our warriors on horses chase the stragglers down, while the raven flaps and falls. We have them on the run, Majesty. Sound the horn of victory, Keir. I say we chase them all down. Give order for the men to hold back. But Arthur! The king will be judged by his mercy. Hold back the men! I say we kill them all. Would you have me cruel again, Keir? Of course not. Or bring chaos on the heels of victory. They are Saxons, Arthur. They are men and deserve to be treated as such. It was you who reminded me of that, Keir. Long ago. Or have you forgotten? Never, Majesty. But you and I have never made the peace, have we? Made the peace? I know you still blame me for your father's death. <laughs> No, Majesty. Those are bad times, best forgotten. Then embrace me now as a brother, if you can, Gia. And from this day on, let all enmity between us be at an end. You are, and always will be, the one true king. By all the power of land and sea, by all the might of moon and sun, I call upon you, Nimue, subtle goddess of the sacred lake and grove. I call upon you. I call upon you! It's always admirable to see a man who won't give up. You desecrate the sacred grove. That's no way to speak to your king. You're no king. Clearly, you're no longer much of a wizard. You have no warriors, you have no support. The people run away. Who says I have no support? You are Camelot's ruin. And its redeemer. Mordred, you have no idea of the damage you could do. <laughs> You'll see, wizard. Majesty! What? An army approaches from the south. Who are they? Saxons. Huh. Then open the gates. Open the gates? Open the gates and welcome them. By all the gods, Mordred, what have you done? Arthur and his comrades. Picture them. A dozen old men and their carls, blood-smeared, raucous, rabbling their way back to Camelot at a drunkard's pace. The gates of Camelot. I never thought I'd see them again. But we won a great victory. And all will be as it was. No. The fight's ebbing in my blood. The thoughts are coming back. That was always your trouble. <sighs> Too much thinking. There are no sentries on the walls. They're all cowering in their shelters. They think we're Saxons. It's quiet. 
We'll soon rouse them. And where am I? Why? Watch now as a raven calls and settles on a lakeside. Wizard. Morgan. Things are near the end. There must be something you can do. We can't change things now. How earnest I was then. How blind. Although all around the inevitable stared me in the face. I tried so hard to keep Arthur and Mordred apart. You should never have defied me. I couldn't let you kill Mordred. It would have been better if he'd been snuffed out in his cradle. This is an old argument, long past. So instead, Mordred comes to kill us all. What does the goddess of the lake say? She will not speak to me. See, Merlin, what I have here. What is it? Gallant found it. The cross bearer. It's the grail, Merlin. A cup of Christ. It's poorly made. But very potent. The gods will never tolerate it. Well, perhaps the gods are sleeping. Then? We must wake them. I feel their winter is upon them. I will not hear you say Isn't so. Isn't that what the goddess has been telling you? The goddess says nothing. Or perhaps you're not listening to what she has to say. Go to her. By all the power of land and sea, by all the might of moon and sun, I call upon you, Nimue, subtle goddess of the sacred lake and grove. She waits for you to go to her. By all the power of land and sea, by all the might of moon and sun, I call upon you, Nimue, subtle goddess of the sacred lake and grove. Listen to her, Merlin. Can't you hear her calling? Subtle goddess, come to me. Words cannot do it, Merlin. Only action. Hey there! Open the gate! And slowly, slowly the huge gate creaks ajar on the metal pivots, and Arthur and his men tumble into the open square. Arthur! Welcome! My boy, Mordred, flanked with flunkies, his left eye squinting, his hand on his sword. Welcome, Arthur! But even at that moment, in the meeting place, as Arthur puts his arms out to clasp his favorite Mordred, out from hiding hurl the Saxon mercenaries. Treachery! To the king! My brother completes the clasp and holds Mordred fast, while all around them men hack and chase. Mordred, why have you betrayed me? You betrayed yourself, Arthur. I tried to warn you. Their eyes meet and lock. That's right. You did. Arthur! Hard I've only done what I had to do. Who are you, Mordred? Why don't you finish me? No, I can't. Why stare at me? When I look at you, I see another face. You're mad! There's another's face I see in yours. Majesty, come away now! We're being beaten back! Arthur, kill me or let me go. I know those eyes. Who are you? Frantic to avoid the king's gaze, Mordred, squirming, catches in his hand Excalibur and strikes. My brother's blood wells up from his neck and soaks my nephew still clasped fast. And I was there, sisters and brothers. I was there to see the sight. Your blow felt right. That's strange. And now I'll pay it back. Oh, Arthur, wait! Listen to me! But Arthur does not wait. He grasps Excalibur and returns the blow. Now let go of me. And close your eyes. No. My eyes are open. I see it all. Your face. 
You are Rhiannon's child. What of it? Nothing matters now. But it does matter, doesn't it, Arthur? And slowly, oh, so slowly, my brother and his newfound son, still clasped together, slump, bloody, to the ground. Why did no one tell me, Morgan? We couldn't. Rhiannon had a child. My child. I should have known. I should have been told. Look into your heart, my brother, and meet the truth that waits for you. Rhiannon was... was my sister. Her mother was Yvain. Like us, my brother. Just like us. You're lying. Oh, I wish I were. I loved her, Morgan. And she, you. And I have killed my son. <laughs> Rest easy now, Arthur. Son of Uther, Lord of Dragons. My brother slacks his grip. But Mordred stays held, their eyes fixed still on each other, gaze on gaze, frozen, face mirrored onto face, speechless recognition for one long moment. Majesty, the traitor Mordred is dead. Mordred. Mordred. I have killed my son. The Saxons are breaking through our line. We must get the king away from here. My men will hold them back, Bedfair. Vespin, help me carry the king to safety. So together, both wounded, Bedvir and Vespin support the once was king down the path, overstepping corpses to the lake. Lay the king here, Vespin. No. I've staunched the wound as best as I can. Edvir. Majesty. Excalibur. I have it here. Throw the sword into the lake. But Arthur... Do as I say. And Vespin. Watch him. Make sure he does. My lord. There, soldiers, Camelot is burning, boars. We must do something. On the ridge beyond the gate appear a father and his son. We're too late, Lancelot. I say we ride down there anyway. Boars, keep the army in position here. Come on. A strange silence, this, Gallus. The gates are open, father. Let's go and find the king. Bedvere. Yes. He threw my sword into the lake. Yes. Vespin. Did he? Yes, my lord. What happened when he threw it? It sank in the water. Liars, both of you. Now do it! Lancelot. Gallot. They pick their way past fire and corpse. Saxon Celt heaped up, limbs slack and intertwined, through marketplace and meeting hall, down the slopes towards the lake. Such slaughter, father. Look, there's Kia. Buried under Saxon corpses. Come on, 
We must still be in time. Smoke curls in the glow. The flames flare, the dry wood crackles, and an old man raises his arms in defiance of the gods. Take it back! Take it back, you foolish gods! The wizard! You'll never have a fortress like it! You'll never have a king like it! So burn and weep! He set fire to the fortress! We... Dry wood burns fast. The fire is called the grove. And then Merlin stumbles, blind with smoke and tears, down the stone paved path towards the lake. The flames. This is all the water's burning. I'll have him yet! But no! Wait! You'll fly down there! Speak to me now. Subtle goddess, I beg you. I listen to anything you have to say. Come to me, Merlin. I hear you. At last, I hear you. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. And as the flames lick at the water, and the water hisses into steam, the old man tears off his cloak and, lifting his bony legs high, wades into the lake. Merlin! Come back! Lots, lots! Stay well at the lake, You see how they send the cross bearers to mock you? Anyway, help! See how I defy them! Come back in the name of the Lord! Your God will have his winter time to come back! It's running straight into the lake! Running! Running! He's gone! Father! Come! Let's go find the king! Throw the sword. It's done. Vespan. Did he? Vespan's dead. What did you see when you threw it? It landed in the water. And you're a liar. This time, Bedvia. Fling it. Or I'll kill you with my bare hands. And Bedvere hobbles to the water edge, summons up his last strength, brandishes the big sword, and hurls it. <laughs> Slowly the fires die down. Till all is silence. Not one person alive. Keep looking. Who's this? A corpse in waiting. Better you. Yeah, let's help you. I'm beyond help. And the king? Gone. Where? We took him to the lake. Hardly alive. Uh. Arthur told me. Throw Excalibur into the lake. So I threw her. Before she hit the water, the lightning flashed. 
I reached a hand and caught her and then disappeared. That's nonsense. Then a boat came. He's rambling. Let him speak. A boat came with black sails and a canopy and nine queens in shrouds softly singing and they carried my lord away. And now the sluggish water slaps the sides of the boat as the prow turns towards the Isle of Avalon. I weep and wash his wounds as the mist settles and darkness falls. That's why I'm here, sisters and brothers. Because now they're all dead. And I have the grail right here in my hands. So what I say must be true. My breath is drying in my lungs. My spirit is fluttering in my chest. And I want the truth written down. Have you heard my words? Make sure you keep my story safe. You know, beside this lake where your church now stands, once there was an apple grove where a sister played with her brother. And so ends the Chronicle of Arthur, as recorded by his loving and meticulous sister Morgan. If you hear a raven call, or smell an apple grove, or see a shape shimmer in the haze of a lake, think of me, and think of Arthur. In Arthur, The Last Battle, Arthur was played by Philip Glenister and Merlin by Ian McDermott. The older Morgan was Jane Lapater and the young Morgan, Eve Best. Gwenver was played by Eve Miles, Lancelot by Andrew Scarborough, Mordred by Stuart McLaughlin, Galhot by Liam Carrigan, Bedvere by Sean Dooley and Vespen Stephen Hogan. Nicholas Bolton was Keir, Rob Hasty Boars, Damien Lynch, Osser, and Jason Chan, the Soldier. Music was by Zbigniew Preissner, with additional composition by Lucinda Mason Brown. Arthur, The Last Battle was written by Steve May and directed by Jeremy Mortimer.